we trust in you, Jesus. You're all, you're all, you're all that we need. Your power will pull us through. We're trusting in you. We're trusting in you. You give us hope and life that's forever. You make us bold and we stand together. This journey there's no looking back with Jesus to lead us we're on the right track oh, 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 oh. wide open spaces for wide open eyes we're looking ahead for the next big surprise oh, 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 oh. we trust we trust we trust in you Jesus you're all this morning. Cam and the crew finally fixed the tracks. Cam will be able to drive his train down the mountain and deliver all the M&Ms. Did I hear my name? Are you guys cheering for me? Yes, we are. In fact, we are excited that you are finally able to drive your train down the mountain. Aren't you excited to make all the deliveries? Oh, yeah, totally. Why wouldn't I be? <laughs> Look, squirrel. No. I don't see a squirrel. Cam, where's a... Uh, Cam? Where did you go? Why are you hiding? Uh, if you see the conductor, tell him I went to go water my lawn. You went to water your lawn? What? Cam, I don't know why you're hiding, but you might as well come out. Well, I'm pretty sure we're going to figure out what's going on. You're right. I should wear a disguise. A disguise? Why would you wear a disguise? <laughs> Um, unless you're planning on disguising yourself as a tree, it's not going to work. Why, why don't you just tell us what's going on? Well, the conductor pointed at me and he said that I would have to climb up, climb up the steep hill. Now, I've gone up hills before, you know, I've gone through the plains and then I've gone up big, small hills. But I've never gone up a steep or gone down a steep hill. Yeah, doing new things can take courage and boldness. That's why I'm glad that I don't have to do those things on my own. Jesus' power helps us be bold. You don't have to face it with your own power. You can trust that the one who is strong enough to make the mountain is strong enough to help you get over it. That sounds great, but I'm still nervous. We have some songs that might give you the boldness to tackle this new challenge. They'll remind you that Jesus' power helps you be bold. Okay, that might help a lot. I'll stick around while you guys sing and remind me about Jesus' power. Then I'll go and tell the conductor I'm ready to go. Woo! We believe in you, Cam. There is power, power 
Is everyone on board for another exciting day? I'm roaring to go. My name is Sierra, and I'm a mountain lion. Now you might think lions only belong in Africa, but North America has their lions too. My friends and I go by other names like pumas, panthers, catamounts, and cougars. That's because I live all over the western part of the globe, and different people have different names for me. In fact, aside from humans, no other mammal covers such a large range of territory. I am one cool cat, aren't I? My tawny fur doesn't start out like this. As a baby, I had spots. I think God gave me those so I'd blend in with the tall grass where my mother hid me. After my brothers and sisters and I were old enough to hunt, we left our pride and went out on our own. Most of the time, I'm pretty quiet. After all, if I'm making a lot of noise, it's gonna be hard for me to sneak up on my lunch. Shh, be quiet. A girl's gotta eat. Of course, there are times when I need to make a big, bold noise. Even though I look a lot like a lion, I don't roar. I've got a pretty intimidating scream, though. <coughs> Isn't that the cat's meow? When I need to catch a meal, I have to move fast. I'm glad God gave me such powerful legs to run, jump, and pounce. Without those mighty muscles, I'd go hungry. God made my legs so powerful, mountain lions can jump up to 18 feet high and 40 feet long. That'd be like me jumping on top of your house. God created me with muscles to leap and pounce. Sometimes you need to boldly leap or pounce on an opportunity. Maybe it's hard to be bold when you need to make a new friend. Tell the truth. Or boldly talk about Jesus. The Bible has this powerful promise for you. He gives power to the weak and strength to the powerless. You can trust that Jesus' power will give you the strength you need to be bold. Jesus is right with you, cheering you on all the way. Pounce on the opportunity. Jesus' power helps us be bold. Trust Jesus. Hey boys and girls, welcome to day three of our Bible adventure here at Rocky Railway. And today we're going to be discovering how Jesus' power helps us be bold. And our story starts out with a man who's not being able to walk. Now you can find the story in the book of Acts, chapters 2 and chapters 3. Now, a man who can't walk in our day can get around by a wheelchair. But in Bible times, there was no wheelchair to be found. So, we're at the temple gate and we've seen a man who cannot walk. Now imagine having to be carried everywhere by your friends, whether to school or to work, everywhere you had to go. But imagine having to be that person that was carried. You had to rely on so many other people. Well, today in Jerusalem, we're going to see a man who's been sitting there for 40 years, not able to walk or do anything. And he's begging for money. And so he can't even get a job. He can't even be a fisherman, a carpenter, or anything. So he had to beg and ask people for money. Please. Some silver so, and gold. Sometimes, some people walk by and they would toss him a gold coin. Thank you. But other times, most people would just walk by without even a passing glance. Well, on this day, two Christians named Peter and John were going on their way to the temple. And as they stopped by the man, they were going to offer him something even better. Peter boldly said, Silver and gold, I have none. But what I have, I'll give to you. In Jesus' name, arise and walk. So, what do you think happened when Peter boldly said that Jesus would heal the man? That's right, the man jumped up and praised God. Wow! Praise God! Thank you! I can walk! I can walk! Thank you! So that miracle sparked quite a commotion. A huge crowd gathered, 
And that's when the second incredibly bold thing happened. Peter and John stood up and started teaching about Jesus. They told the crowd who Jesus was and that Jesus had died for their sins. They told the crowd that they needed Jesus. And that made some people in the crowd angry. See, not everyone in town was a fan of Jesus. Some people, including a lot of Jerusalem's leaders, thought Jesus was a liar. They thought Christians who talked about Jesus were liars too. Now the leaders there got so mad at Peter and John that they had guards seize them and keep them in jail for the night. The leaders told Peter and John to quit talking about Jesus or else. Now Peter and John had a decision to make. Should they stay quiet and be safe or keep talking about Jesus and get into a lot of trouble? Well, Peter and John thought that there are things about Jesus that people needed to know. So they boldly told the leaders, No, we cannot just stop proclaiming the word of Jesus. We must spread the word to all the far reaches of the world. <laughs> wow, that's bold. They stood up and they made a stand. Now, Peter and John were so bold that it's like their bold had superpowers. Their boldness was so big that their message about Jesus was so powerful but the Bible says about 5,000 men heard the word that day. And that doesn't include the women and children who were there. And that's got me thinking, I know Jesus because someone was bold enough to tell me about Jesus. And that person was my dad. He was filled with boldness to be able to share Jesus with me. And you can do the same for you and your friends. Because Jesus' power helps us be bold. Now, back to Peter and John. They were threatened and commanded by the leaders not to talk about Jesus anymore. So they let Peter and John go, and they went back to their Christian friends. And there, you know what they did? They prayed together, asking God for courage. Now, I know we all need courage when it comes to being bold in what we believe, but you're surrounded by friends and here, who are here and want to remind you that you never face anything alone. I'd like to pray for you. God knows that you need boldness in this time. So let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for this day. Thank you for this time to... Uh, be able to share you with the world. God, we face many different challenges and we pray that you give us boldness and strength to stand before you and before the world. In your name we pray. Amen. This train is bound for glory. This train This train place in heaven for me. This train is bound for glory. This train. This train is bound for glory. This train. This train is bound for glory. This train. This train is bound for glory. Jesus is made a place in heaven for me. This train is bound for glory. This train. Okay now, let's bring it down. This train is bound for glory. This train. This train is bound for glory. This train. This train is bound for glory. Jesus made a place in heaven for me. This train is bound for glory. This train. in heaven for me. This train is bound for glory. This train. This train. This train. This train. Hi everybody. Welcome back to Rocky Railway Imagination Station. All right, we're excited. I hope we have a question for you. I hope everyone brought their imagination. Did you? I did. Uh-oh, seems like some of you may have forgot your imagination today. And that is not good because we need a lot of imagination oh. for today. So, I was talking to my friend, Sierra, Ooh, the mountain yeah. lion. And she was telling me that mountain lions can jump up to 15 feet. What? Can you jump up to 15 feet? I don't think I can. 
I don't think any of us can jump up to 15 feet, but that is pretty amazing. Our question for today is also about mountain lions. So, which is stronger? Does it have a stronger sense of smell or a stronger sense of hearing? I'm gonna say smell. That is incorrect. Actually, mountain lions have a really weak sense of smell, but a really strong, powerful sense of hearing. Speaking of power, today's point is Jesus' power makes us so bold. And sometimes it's really hard to be bold, especially when you're trying to tell someone about Jesus. But you know the old saying, practice makes perfect? We'll never be perfect, but we can definitely practice to help us get better. It might look like something like this. At lunchtime at school, maybe you say a prayer and someone will ask you, what are you doing? And that gives you a step to share that you're talking to God. It's just one little step and then you can share who this God is. Every step brings you closer and gives you more momentum. Speaking of momentum, I have this cool little experiment I wanna show you. In this bucket, there's this chain. The chain in this bucket isn't very bold. No. It doesn't do anything. But what I wanna show you today is when you have Jesus in you and his power, it makes you bold. Watch this. I'm just hanging this here. Wow, super cool. That had a lot of momentum. This Jesus' power it makes us bold. Now it's time for our sciencey fun gizmo. Here we have the Bold Blaster. Ooh. Let's see what it can do. That was kind of a dud. Something must be missing. I know. Let me add this power pack and see what happens. Did you see how high that jumped? So cool. You see, just like this bold blaster without the power pack, we can be kind of like a dud too. But when we have Jesus, he gives us boldness and we can go to extreme heights. So cool, it jumped so high. Jesus' power, it makes us bold. Thank you for joining us for day three of VBS. Today we learned that Jesus' power gives us boldness. And we learned that from our friend Sierra. We are so thankful that you joined us for our Rocky Railway VBS on Fellowship Bible Church Online. Thank you for being here. Today, we've got another cool experiment to show you how Jesus' power can help us to be bold. Now, if you've got any experiment equipment, I want you to put it on right now. All that you'll need in order to do our experiment is a little bit of this parchment paper stuff, like this, or wax paper, something small, and a little car, preferably one that you can pull back and let go, but since we are on the Rocky Ro Railway roadway, we are going to use a little train like this. As you can see, we have our bridge here for our train to go over. Let's see what happens when we use parchment paper just like this in order to try to get over this cavernous hole. Seriously. Ready, set, go. Well, that didn't work so great. Okay, this time, we're gonna try the same thing. But, instead, okay, now it's going crazy. This time we're gonna do the same thing, except we're gonna add some stability to our bridge. All right, all that we've done is take our parchment paper and make a U shape out of it. Let's see if that'll help our train make it all the way across this bridge. Three, two, one, go! Yeah, we made it! Just like that bridge, sometimes when we try to be bold on our own strength, we can crumple and fall down. We need Jesus' help. We need his structure and his support, and we need the truth of God's word in order to really be bold. 
I want you to take just a second and think really hard. Do you know someone who you would say is bold? Now, I want you to tell your parents about one person who you think is bold and ask them who they think is bold. The second thing I'd like for you to do is to keep looking out for the God sightings. We want to see God in every day. So ask Him to help you be bold. Think of somebody who is bold and look for those God sightings. Thanks so much for joining us for our VBS. We're so glad that you joined us today and we will see you again tomorrow for day number four. We're extra excited about this one, so make sure you tune in. Bye! Cheering for me? Yes, I gave a <laughs> turn to look at. <laughs> and today we're going to look at. Uh, now, in our okay. the back in Bible times, wheelchairs were nothing, nothing, nothing. Oh my goodness! All right, I'm going to start again. This is day one. Day three. Take twenty. You are. <laughs> I forgot what the answer was. <laughs> you have so much extra footage of us. Now it's time for our sciencey fun gizmo gadget. <laughs> hmm. I know. Let me see if I add this piece. What will happen? Welcome to day three of baby. Welcome. Thanks for joining us for day three. Go, little choo choo. Go. Go, 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 go. Go. Three, two, one, go. Ah, and go.